Hey guys, welcome back. So, as I mentioned in the last video, we're going to uh, attempt to take the dash out of this thing. Um, <clears throat> I've been doing some research on it, and uh, I think I'm going to go with a new wiring harness on it. At this time, we just want to get everything pulled apart. We don't want to get paint on any of the parts that we are going to keep. So, let's make it a bare skeleton. So, I'll show you what uh, we got to do on the firewall on the engine side, and then we'll go under the dash, and I'll show you some of the wiring under there that needs to be, needs to be disconnected before we can tilt the, the uh, dash forward and uh, remove that, see what we have in behind it. So if you can see this in here, this is the firewall pass through fuse block. We'll disconnect this stuff. I got some wires here for the tachometer, uh, aftermarket tack. So we'll uh, pull that through the firewall. Some of these wires, they don't really look that nice. And this is why I'm thinking that I'm gonna go with the uh, aftermarket wiring harness in here. It'll be totally labeled. It'll be, uh, I'll be able to run it where I want. I've heard that the uh, glass fuse block on these are notorious for shorting out. So this is my big reason why I want to go with a different wiring harness on this. So let's take this apart and we'll uh, see what kind of condition it's in. So it's just two tabs on either side, here and here, pull it apart. They're a little corroded in there. The fuse block, yeah, we got one that's a little bit melted looks like it got hot at one time we'll pull this one out i believe this is our main light harness and yes it is so that's our our headlights marker lights stuff like that we'll just set that aside for right now so there's our fuse block disconnected one for our wiper motor. We'll just keep that with it up here. And this one, I'm not too sure where it goes, but we'll figure it out as we go. So with our ballast and resistors up here, I'm not gonna disconnect the wires off of it because I, well, we don't need to. We can leave them connected. We'll just take them off the firewall and that way uh, everything's left connected and uh, we can place it back up there depending on what we do from there. So we'll just run these bolts out. Stick them bolts back in, that way we don't lose them. Just connect these again. So there's another wiring harness over the way. I'm going to leave the wiper mower in for right now. We may end up changing the plugs on it. I might pull it out to clean it out. Most likely I'm going to pull it so we can clean in behind. That way we don't get any rust drippings after we paint it. But other than that, I think everything is uh, under the dash from here. So, as you can see, this thing is a little bit of a mess under here. A um, bunch of wires added in. If you can see the fuse block, there's some that's been added on. Uh, most likely accessories, stuff like that. So, this one here, I know we can pull this through. At least I think so. And that's an aftermarket add-on. Somebody's added a tack at one time. There's power for it. Sorry, that was power for something else. This is power. So 
gets out of the way. These ones run through the firewall. And that's just a ground, so we'll just pull that. Okay, we got the tack free. Here's the aftermarket tack, by the way. So that's out of the way. So I'll grab some tools, we'll pull that fuse block out, disconnect the steering column, and start dropping the dash. So guys, I went ahead here and uh, disconnected that fuse block from the uh, firewall. Right now, we'll take this. This is the steering column. So the steering column goes up, that's your signals, horn, stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and we'll disconnect that. Disconnect this one. Okay, so that's all disconnected. This will come out with the dash. So we, we'll just leave that in place right now. So in here, what we wanna do, we've got two studs under the steering column. Let me get in position here. So we got one here and one on the other side. Both of those have got to come out to release the steering column from that. And what we'll do, we'll loosen off this bolt right here. There's one on the other side. And then we've got four of these that we have to loosen off as well then our dash should be able to slide right out. So we'll go ahead, we'll loosen off that steering column. Look at just reposition so you can see what I'm doing here. Sure it's doing something. Yep, it is. So there's one out. That one just happens to be a bolt. Typically they're studs. So the other side is a stud. And it looks like we're getting the nut off of it not the entire stud. Which I don't foresee that being a problem, but we'll see as we go. So we'll just spin this out. Almost there. one on the other side as well. I'll go ahead and loosen off these bolts and then we'll uh, tip this out. So here we are guys. Got it almost out. Thing that I'm finding is I use YouTube for a lot of stuff. It's a great resource. I hope you guys are finding some type of resource out of mine. Um, what they don't tell you is the little stuff that needs to be done as you do this. For example, I got one cable. If you can see it way back here. That's the side vent that is attached to that little plunger right here. That needs to be disconnected before you pull the dash. Also, looking in the back, 
there's a speedo cable right here that speedo cable it also needs to be detached before you can pull this out so i'm going to go ahead and pull that plunger off i already got the speedo cable off then we should be able to lift this thing out bear with me we'll get there so here we are guys we got it pulled took a little bit of muscle finding out what's still attached we got things detached so we'll go around the other side of the car here over towards the workbench there's the dash so i gotta locate a speaker for this because this one's just shook look at that it's cracked dash pad needs to be changed Take that VIN plate off a little bit later, find the proper rivets for it. So here's the back side of it. With any luck, we'll upgrade the gauges, we'll upgrade the wiring on it. We'll make sure everything's in great shape. One of the spots that was holding me up from taking this out was that right there. Somebody put in uh, aftermarket stereo put in a little bit of this mechanics and this was holding me up but we'll get this pulled apart get it cleaned up get a dash pad in and I think we're gonna go with custom gauges on this I don't have the build sheet I don't have a fender tag so really this is an open palette for me to do whatever I want with it we'll customize a little bit not a lot but I want to make it mine. Thanks guys. Till next time. Have a great day. Bye.